Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you, teacher. All right, you? good. I'm good, thank you. Everything fine. Mm -hmm. Great. How was your day today? Um, pretty busy, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm okay. It's good. A busy day is better than boring. Yeah, that's true. I prefer to stay busy. Yeah, to stay active. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's better. It's better. Yeah. Teacher, uh, is today our last class? No, it's tomorrow, Thursday. Tomorrow, tomorrow we don't have class. Yes, it's Thursday. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah okay. Car okay. David Hernandez is here. Good evening. Good evening, David. How are you? I'm okay. And you? All right. I'm good too. Thank you. You look fresh like a <laughs> baby. Like a lettuce. Hello, mm. David. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You look fresh like a little. <laughs> how is how is Perula Pia? Uh now it's a little cold. It's oh, not, that's hot, good. not cold. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you you work from home, correct? I think we lost David. Yeah. I had a little issues with my internet connection. Yeah. It's all right. Okay. Um, but you work from home, correct? Uh oh. <laughs> Again. Do you, teacher, do you have another class, right? After this, Perfect. I have one more, yes. Ah, uh, yes. I saw you in a video. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yo por eso no le hago caso a cuando los, los dicen que hay que estar al día con el, con la plataforma. Es que en la otra video a veces tengo 22 alumnos. Sí. And in, in one hour, it's impossible. Yeah. It's difficult. Yeah. Here, let me, let me open the platform. Are you going to be our teacher again? I don't know. Mm. I really don't know that yet. Okay. Where, where is everybody today? <laughs> oh, there's Francisco Santos. What's up, Francisco? Everything good. <laughs> All right, nice. Yes. How about you? Good, good. I'm all right. Thank you. Thank you for asking. I'm cool. All right, let's start then. Do you see my, do you see my, um, my screen? Yes. Okay. So listen, defining and non-defining relative clauses. Let's see what this is about. I know we have studied relative clauses before, but this time we'll learn a little bit more. Let's stay and find out the difference between defining and non-defining relative clauses. Defining and non-defining relative clauses. Defining relative clauses are used to identify people. A dialect coach is a language specialist. She works with actors on their accents. A dialect coach is a language specialist who works with actors on their accents. 
A dialect coach is a language specialist that works with actors on their accents. Non-defining relative clauses give further information about people. A location scout finds places to shoot scenes. He travels all over the world. A location scout who finds places to shoot scenes travels all over the world. As we mentioned on the intro video, we have two types of relative clauses. Defining and non-defining relative clauses. Let's look at the difference between them. Number one, defining relative clauses. The information in the clause is necessary. It shows us which person is being described or talked about. For example, the actor who starred in that movie is very talented. Number two, non-defining relative clauses. The information isn't necessary. It is extra information that is added to the sentence. For example, Tom Cruise, who starred in that movie, is very talented. I want to point out that commas are used before and after a non-defining relative clause. Think about the people involved in making a movie. Choose to and describe what they do using defining or non-defining relative clauses. Okay, we'll come back to that to see more. So, let's see here. I have two types of relative clauses. Defining and non-defining relative clauses. Let's look at the difference between them. Number one, defining relative clauses. The information in the clause is necessary. It shows us which person is being described or talked about. For so let's go, let's stay with Tom Cruise. So the information in the class is necessary. Tom Cruise is an actor. Okay. Tom Cruise is, um, it's a Hollywood star. That would be a defining relative clause. For example, the actor who starred in that movie is very talented. Number two, non-defining relative clauses. So non-defining relative clauses is the information really is not important. Tom Cruise, who is an actor, is, uh, what is his religion? Um, science. Science. Scientologist. Thank you. So that's like extra information. That the main clause is Tom Cruise, who is an actor. That's the relative clause. Tom Cruise, who is an actor, that is the necessary information, and a non-defined clause is. Uh, not, uh, Tom Cruise, who is an actor, is a Scientologist. He's a little crazy. Okay. So let's see the videos. Knowledge check. It says a foreign. Well, read the following sentences. Add the non-defined clause in parentheses or to the sentence. Remember to use commas for the non-defying relative clauses. So don't need la coma. Tom Cruise, who is an, um, Tom Cruise, who is a movie actor, is a Scientologist. Tom Cruise. Mm -hmm. Tom Cruise, comma. Comma. Who is a movie actor, comma, is also a Scientologist. For example, number one, it says a foreign correspondent travels all over the world who writes about events in the countries. So a foreign correspondent who writes about events 
in other countries travels all over the world. What is number two? A web page designer needs sophisticated computer knowledge. Who is a graphic artist? What is the correct one here? A web page designer, designer who is a graphic artist is a graphic. needs sophisticated computer knowledge. Mm -hmm. Who is a graphic artist? Oops, you have your designer. <laughs> so a web page designer who is a graphic artist. Miren, personalmente yo creo que eso está mala. <laughs> Porque no, a web page designer es una, es una carrera. Y a graphic artist es otra. Pero no necesariamente un graphic artist es un web page designer. You know, es como decir a doctor who is a teacher. You know, a doctor who is a teacher works in a hospital. I mean, doctor is one thing, teacher is another thing. But no, 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 like. Uh, it's an artist, pues, eh, no, no like a, a career, sino que eh, it's like a master in, in graphic, like a... Yes, uh-huh. Uh -huh. A web page designer maybe. who is a... Yeah, maybe, maybe you're right, Kalena, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. A web page designer who is a graphic artist needs sophisticated computer knowledge. Okay, maybe, yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. Entonces, hubiera puesto... A graphic artist who is also a web page designer mm -hmm. needs sophisticated computer knowledge. Number, number three, let me see. It says, an edit, editorial page editor gives opinions about current issues. Who is a daily newspaper columnist? An editorial page editor who is a daily newspaper columnist gives opinions about current issues. Number four, a gossip columnist. Do you know what is gossip? No. Um, el faro, factum. Uh, el blog, chambres, chambrosos, gossip. Like one time I saw El Faro, El Salvador está a punto de la explosion for COVID. Ya no, ya no caben los, ni una alma en los hospitales. I think it was last, no, two weeks ago or something. Bueno, el gobierno ellos ya ni les responde. They just put a, a doctor, a doctor from the hospital took pictures. He, he dijo, tenemos 600 camas. Entonces, ¿qué fue? Fue gossip. Chambre. 
a gossip columnist. The columnist is the person. So a, a gossip columnist who gets to fabulous parties writes about celebrities and scandals. This is similar to a um, Chambres El Salvador, something like that. Do you watch that in YouTube? No. He only says gossip about uh, yes. him. Yeah, what's his name? Uh, I don't know his name, but it's a funny. <laughs> man, ese sí es chambroso, man. Pero solo es con la gente de acá, de la, la gente, la farándula del Salvador. Les contamos que vimos a Roberto Acosta con la nueva novia. No nos quiso hablar. <laughs> yeah, he's funny, though. He's a, he is a gossip columnist. Because that's his job. That's all he does is just gossip. All right, let's read. Let me see. I have Kalena, the first person on my list. Can you read the first paragraph, please? Of course. Just let me open because I can see. Okay. Recently, a biography teacher, and uh, pardon, bio, bio, biology teacher mm -hmm. in Kansas, I stayed in American Midwest, main national, national and even international news after Christine Dalton discovered that 28 of, the, of her 118 students had uh, plagiarized. Yeah, plagiarized parts of a major project. She gave them failing grades. All through, this was a school policy. The students' parents complained. The school board directed Mr. Pelton to change the punishment. Uh, they told her that 600 points should be taken from the offered, offenders rather than the entry 100 entire, entire so uh, 100 no 1800 mm -hmm. points mr pelton resigned in pro protest i'm sorry I'm no it's okay very good okay what are some words you don't understand class Okay, so you understand them all. No, the school okay. board did the all told. Although. Although. What is. Okay, so told? wait, first of all, this story is about a teacher and there was a project. The project was how many points? Six, 1, 000, no, 1,800 points. Oh, sorry. Yes, that's the, the total points. And this teacher discovered that 28 students of 118 plagiarized, hicieron trampa mm -hmm. on, on the project. So then the teacher didn't pass them, zero points. The parents, although, aunque esto, although this is a school policy, Aunque siendo esto una política de la escuela, reclamaron los papás. Because parents always complain. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. Yes, they always complain, right? Yes. So the school board directed, the school board is like el ministerio de... Aquí hay un ministerio de educación. De educación. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So then the school board directed, le dijeron a Miss Pelton to change the punishment. No, cambie eso. Solo quítele 600 puntos, no 1800. ¿Y qué hizo Miss Pelton? Renunció. So it says, why did this become such a significant story? Perhaps, perhaps it's another word for maybe. Perhaps it is because so many people feel strongly about what is right and what is wrong. Do you understand that? What is per perhaps? Perhaps is another name for maybe. So you think you want me, but I'll ask you over. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Remember that song? Creo que es en español está también. Quizás. Oh, yeah, ahí está, quizás. <laughs> It raised some important questions. What is plagiarism? How serious is it? The simple form of plagiarism occurs when someone copies material without giving credit to the source. However, there are also more serious forms, such as when a student pays someone else to write an essay. Some people claim that copying is necessary to do well in school. They have realized their own, in their own words, they have realized that their own words are not as good as someone else. Another common argument is that everyone does it. So it's not a big deal. In fact, it has been learned that even some highly respected figures, including Martin Luther King, have plagiarized. Although some people find reasons to justify plagiarisms, other feel, others feel the issue is clear cut. They feel it is morally wrong and consider it stealing a theft of ideas rather than money. These people believe that students who plagiarize benefit unfairly they receive a better grade than they deserve. So what about the incident in Kansas? Was it original punishment too severe? Do teachers have the right to tell students and parents what is right and wrong? Mrs. Pelton would probably say the job of a teacher is to do exactly that. I, I support Miss Pelton. I think she did the correct thing. Me too. Yeah. Can you imagine medicine students plagiarizing <laughs> mm -hmm. it's not acceptable yes in the, I, in the real life uh, uh, play, play Jason, plagiarizing <laughs> plagiarizing uh, I think it's considered like a, a delito yes it's illegal it's illegal uh -huh. so we have to uh, teach the students that but remember, there's other ones. There's copying or there's like you pay somebody to to do your homework. And I don't think that is correct. I will never permit my son to do that. It's not correct. Do you know that song, um, Mariposa Traicionera from mm -hmm. Mana? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you know that song was a plagiarism? No. Really? Yeah. Y fue cierto porque Maná pagó fuera de corte para. You know what song? Plagiarize? What? Okay. Which? Not the letter, it was the music. Tan, 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 Era, oye, traicionero, que yo me muera. Yes. Uh -huh. I didn't know that. 
So it was more the music, not 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 the lyrics. I like the song. I like the two songs. <laughs> All right, let's do this lesson five. You're about to watch the very last video of this course. Can you watch? We hope Can you, you enjoy them. We suggest yes. for you to keep on watching and practicing your mm -hmm. language. Yes. Okay. Hi. I'm Kai Nagata. I'm a television journalist based here in Montreal, Canada, and I'm also a lifelong cyclist. Right now, cycling is getting more and more popular in Montreal, with 10% of all commuters getting to work by bike, like me, and city officials want that number to increase. More bicycles means more bicycle traffic, and that means sharing the road. There's lots of opinions about how pedestrians, cyclists, and drivers should act and interact in the city. Let's find out what people think. Is there anything Montreal could do to improve things for cyclists? Yeah, well, I think the city should try to expand the system of cycle paths. One thing I learned this morning is that one shouldn't drive against traffic, <laughs> because that's a problem. Sometimes there are corners uh, where drivers just cannot see you coming, and so you should really try to avoid driving against the traffic if possible. What advice do you have for cyclists in the city? Cyclists should have their own bike lane and drive towards the oncoming traffic because they will be able to better see what the other parked cars are doing. Whether they're driving or parked, the cyclists will have more control. What do you think drivers ought to do to help keep cyclists safe? Drivers should always check their rearview mirrors before opening their doors so that they don't hit a bicycle that's coming up behind them. Do you spend more time driving or riding a bike? Driving. What do you think Montreal could do to encourage cycling as an option for people? Uh, maybe education, maybe some restriction to driving downtown. So maybe making it harder for drivers. Right, right. that's the nature, the human nature. What advice would you give people who are cycling with children? There should be a law that says all children starting from age six should be educated on the rules of bicycling. What do you think of the idea of kids wearing bike helmets? I think they should, but a lot of them won't. What do you think the city could do to make cyclists even safer in Montreal? Um, I think it, it would be best if bicycles and buses were not on the same street. Why do you think that? Because they're not compatible. The bus is very large and we're uh, very small and not protected, but we drive approximately the same speed or on the same path. What do you think cyclists should do to help keep themselves safe in traffic? Be more aware of both automobiles and pedestrians. I think uh, there are ways in which sometimes we cut corners in terms of moving through traffic, um, particularly moving traffic, I think cyclists need to be aware. What do you think when you see cyclists riding around with headphones in? I don't think it's the best idea. Uh, you have to be alert. Um, you don't often need your ears when you're cycling, but every once in a while you hear something that indicate something that you didn't see and I, for safety reasons that I think you know I'd like to listen I'd like to bike and listen to music too but if you're gonna do that I think you should do that in a park what advice do you have for cyclists in the city people should never wear Walkmans or iPods or whatever uh, while they cycle because a lot of cycle safety has to do with listening what advice would you give people who are cycling with children I think cycling on the sidewalk is fine uh, with kids. Uh, I think most pedestrians are at ease with it. Uh, you know, look here, look at how wide this sidewalk is. If you have young children, 
who are just learning to cycle. I don't see anything wrong with cycling on the sidewalk along here. What's your impression of Montreal as a city for cycling? Cyclists should take a bigger piece of the city and play a bigger role in the city. And I think that uh, drivers and even pedestrians should relax a bit about cyclists. Cyclists are good for cities. Wherever bikes and cars share the road, people are going to have opinions about how they ought to interact. Montreal is no exception, and we may not have solved all the problems yet, but we're working on it. I'm Kai Nagata, reporting from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. He should come to El Salvador and see. It's impossible in El Salvador. <laughs> yes. Okay, here is when we give opinions. We use ought to, should, have got to, and must. Let's see how we give uh, recommendations and opinions. Hi, I think English students should be required to speak English all the time. Do you want to give a recommendation or an opinion about this? Stay and learn how. Giving recommendations and opinions. When you think something is a good idea. Cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. Pet owners shouldn't be allowed to walk dogs without a leash. People ought to be required to end parties at midnight. When you think something is absolutely necessary. Laws must be passed to control the noise from car alarms. People mustn't be permitted to park motorcycles on the sidewalks. A rule has to be made to require cycling lanes on city streets. Something has got to be done to stop littering. In this lesson, we will use models plus B plus past infinitive to give recommendations. When we give opinions, sometimes these opinions might be stronger than other times. When we think something is a good idea, we use should and ought to. And when we think something is absolutely necessary, we use must and have to or have got to. So if I present these two sentences to you, are you able to understand the difference? Number one, cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. Number two, cyclists must be required to wear a helmet. Very good. The first sentence is an opinion where a sentence number two is absolutely necessary. It's pretty much a law. Hi, I want you to give me one reason for and one against about the following ideas. The students should not be allowed to translate or speak their native language in class. Type your reasons on our discussion box. Okay, so this, this is good. So I like this explanation here. Something as patience. When we give opinions, some stronger than that, we use should and ought to. Okay, when something is a good idea, use should and ought to. Aunque le voy a ser sincero, ought to ya casi no se usa. So, si no lo usan, it's okay because it's more, it's more popular to say should. For example, in my opinion, the Ministry of Health, el Ministerio de Salud, they should give condoms in the Bad Bunny concert. Please. Yes, stop reproducing those people. That's a joke. You think it is should or must? Sure. So it's a good idea. When you think something is absolutely necessary, <laughs> you say must or have to. That's the difference. Hello? Yes. Okay, good. Oh, so you can hear me. Okay. 
All right, then no questions, let's go. Okay, next, follow the example. People blank to sell cell phones while driving. So what do you think? People shouldn't be allowed, should not be allowed, or should be allowed? People shouldn't be allowed. Shouldn't, uh-huh. Okay, next. People blank to... So let's do... It's the same. Yes. Young people blank to get married before age 15. <laughs> Should not permit it. Should not be permitted. Here, let's do this because it's a matter of opinion. Hey, because look, but I mean, okay, like for example, for me, for me, okay, for me, people should only have one or two pets. Para mí, uno o dos mascotas basta. Pero hay para otra gente, no, ¿cómo va a creer? Yo tengo 18 gatos y 10 perros. O sea, that's a different opinion, right? Mm -hmm. Entonces, esta persona va a decir, no, people should not have two or three pets. People must have all the animals they can because, you know, you know ahorita está de moda animal lovers, right? Mm -hmm. I have many friends that now it's normal. Oh, I have 21 cats. I have no secure cats. Oh, really, man? In my opinion, that should not happen. It's not healthy. In my opinion. But I mean, I like animals, you know, it's good, but come on, 50 cats. Mm -hmm. 10 dogs, mm -hmm. but some people can think different and they say, no, for me, everybody must have cats and dogs and animals in their house because they are a beautiful species and blah, 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 blah. So remember here, the most important thing is that should, it's an opinion and must, it's also an opinion, but you're, you, you think it's necessary. Okay, we're not gonna talk today. <laughs> so, okay, let's do, here, because this is a matter of opinion. Oh yeah, show answer. Young people, blank, to get married before age of 15, yeah, people. Young people must not be permitted to get married before age 15. Pero si le preguntan un árabe, they'll say something different. They'll say, no, people should get married before 15. Companies, blank, to give workers periodic breaks. Um, companies ought to be required or should be required or must be required. The three are correct to give workers periodic breaks. Number four, people blank to have pets in high rise apartments. Excuse me, uh, in high rise apartments allowed. People shouldn't be allowed to have pets in high rise apartments. Do you know what is high rise apartments? Maybe it's in a building. Yes. People that are in buildings. In the top. Yes, in, in high. Mm -hmm. It's like when you go to a hotel. I don't know if I said about it, but in, usually in the United States, if you go to a hotel and the hotel is pet friendly, all the rooms are in the floor. In the bottom floor. Only, only, only uh, low floors and low pets. Yes. Okay. Yes. I don't know why. Maybe because of uh, security reasons. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because imagine there's like an earthquake or a fire. Uh, yes. <laughs> imagine the crazy lady with 50 cats 
and running and number six laws to ban the sale of handguns must be passed or must not be passed must be passed okay what about homosexual people they should get married or they must be married in El Salvador. I consider that it would be better uh, that you uh, get married at some point. Yeah, you know, for me, for me, I don't think that's, um, I don't care. But for me, what I yeah. think is they must be accepted. Yeah. Uh, I think I think that's the issue. I don't think they want to get married and they're they're fighting to get married. I think their issue is they want to be accepted and 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 that's totally correct. I mean they exactly. and the society of El Salvador, we must accept that. <laughs> and and this is why it's opinion, Mel Salida again, super orthodox in religion. No, the Bible says no, or so, or uh, or somebody who's a homophobic is gonna say no. That must not happen here because our children, blah, 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 blah. So you, you see why it's an opinion. Some people say should, some people say must in affirmative or in negative. For example, Mareros, for me, the government must kill all the Mareros, kill them. No, no jail cannot kill them and their wives. <laughs> Their wife are going to reproduce more little mareros, man. No, kill them. But somebody's gonna say, no, no, that's not correct. Pobrecitos. They have no father. They had a poor actually, blah, 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 blah. He, you know, all okay, Casey, sí, pobrecitos, right? Okay. Kill 10 people. Entonces, pero pobrecitos. You know, that and it's under ejemplos, okay. <laughs> um some people say, hey, no, man, Nayib Bukele must go. Some people say, no, Nayib Bukele must stay. That's a good topic right there because some people hate him and some people love him. And some people say, no, man, this government must go next in the next term. And some people say, no, man, Nayib Bukele is doing a good job. He must stay one more. I'm yes. neutral in that topic because I consider that he he, he doesn't have uh, the all on his hand to make a lot of changes like like people. No, no, make, yeah, make no, but yes, stuff. but that, that that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm saying it's a matter of opinion. Some people say some people say no, nah, he should maybe stay one more time. Some people said, no, he must stay one more time because he's doing a very good job. Or let's say negative. Some people say, no, he shouldn't stay one more, one more round. Or no, he must not stay. You see, that, that's what I'm telling you. It's a matter, the opinions are affirmative or negatives. Okay, uh, scientist blank use animals for research. Do you think this is okay? No. But even at a pandemic, they use it animals to to verify the vaccine that we got. I think it depends on the animal. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I mean, imagine Not there. <laughs> no, oh. but imagine there's like an ugly animal that is really not. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Igual, pobrecitos, alive, right? Like a rat. A rat. Those are rat. ugly animals. <laughs> yeah, a rat can kill maybe more, like, a lot of people because la rabia que, and the, everything they have and, mm -hmm. you know, but some people mm -hmm. say, no, but he's a rat. He's, he's, what is he, you know, so, <laughs> so that's why if you ask me, I think depends on the animal. Or, or I think scientists should use mareros for research. Yes, <laughs> that, that's better. 
or people that is voluntar voluntary voluntary people yes oh man no pero debería haber una historia del ebola in africa that was sad le pagaban a la gente five dollars for injections y ahí van los pobres yeah. inject me try me it was the necessity for money Okay, number six, laws, blank, to ban sales of handguns. Do you know what is ban? No. Ban is prohibit. Mm -hmm. Yes, not for me, forbid. And what is handguns? Ah, armas, right? No, oh, okay. <laughs> A pistola de man. I think ban handguns should not be banned. No. What I what I what I do think is that the bullets, the license, uh, or the bullets, they should be very very expensive. You know why? Because imagine one bullet costs one thousand dollars. One bullet. Eso vale una. Imagine, imagine. Okay, una bala cueste mm -hmm. mil dólares, one bullet. And then the next day you see on, on TV, mm -hmm. y apareció una persona muerta con cuatro balazos en el pecho. Ya ni pregunten qué hizo, porque <laughs> para que alguien haya gastado cuatro mil dólares en that person, mm -hmm. algo hizo. <laughs> Imagine, ay, pues, pero están caras las balas, pero pa, 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 four thousand dollars. Algo hizo ese pobre compadre. The sale of fur products. Do you know what is fur? Nope. Piel. Oh, shouldn't be permitted. Yes. Yes. I, and I think it's very stupid, man. When you, when when people use that, like, oh yeah, yeah it's, it's it's also. <laughs> I don't. Some rich people have very ugly taste. Number eight, something blank to stop clubs from staying open so late. Should it not be done? Should not or should be done should not so for you it's okay for clubs to stay open very late uh depend on the location maybe because okay. in El salvador there are a lot of uh, clubs near to other other house and maybe uh, inside inside the house uh, there are uh, people sick very good you, you know you know also you know what i think something should be done to stop churches to putting a, a church in a vecindario, in the neighborhood. Yes. Oh man, I hate those people. And they start singing, la, 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 la. and then like two hours later, they're like convulsion, like, uh, that, that's ugly, that's. Yes, and now uh, there are a lot of people working from house. Yes, it's true, it's mm -hmm. true. Yeah, something should be done about that. But I don't understand um, the 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 government in El Salvador. I remember like ten years ago, ¿se acuerdan que prohibieron los casinos? Ah, yes. Porque eran antimoral, deshacían familias, bla bla bla, y prostíbulos, bares. It's, it's similar. <laughs> Uh, this country uh, doesn't have any plans to increase the the civil civil increment. Yes, it's true. Uh -huh. It's true. Because if you ban a casino, it's good. It's good because people lose a lot of money in casinos. The houses, cars, everything. But like in um, 
prostitute house, similar. People lose families, money. So that should be prohibited too, banned. But that will never happen. Okay, next lesson objective. In this class, participants will be introduced to a tag questions. Ooh, I like this. Tag questions for opinion. Do you know what is a tag question? Um, like when you ask for something that you have to the other person say like yes or the same answer. Um, okay, Mirna. A los salvadoreños, hágame una pregunta usando ve. <laughs> Soy feo, pero dígame, hágame una pregunta ve. Mm. Las pupusas son ricas, va. Good. Te vas a comer good. tres, va. Okay, good. <laughs> In English, that is a tag question. But a tag question is. Okay, Kalena, Kalena and Mirna. Okay, Kalena said, las pupusas son ricas. No? <laughs> Mirna, te vas a comer tres, yeah. no? Mm -hmm. So if you start with an affirmative, you finish with a short mm -hmm. negative yeah. question. So pupusas are good, aren't they? Mm -hmm. You are, you will eat three, won't you? Because if you start affirmative, you finish with a negative question. If you start with a negative, you finish with an affirmative question. Por ejemplo, a mí como tres o cuatro veces me han dicho, right? Excuse me. Uh -huh. You're not Brad Pitt, are you? No, no, no soy yo. <laughs> No, no, pero you are, aren't you? Ok, yo recuerdo que Kalena me dijo su profesión. No me diga. Right? This is an example. Kalena, I think I remember. Kalena is a teacher or a doctor. I don't remember. Kalena, you are a teacher, aren't you? Yes. Ok, yes. number one. No estoy muy seguro pero estoy más seguro que sí que que no. Entonces empecé. Kalena, you are a teacher, aren't you? Are you? Mm -hmm. Ahora, no, pero es que ya me dijo que era arquitecto. No, she's not an architect. Really? <laughs> so entonces, Kalena, you're not an architect, are you? Yes, I am. <laughs> you are an architect. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. yes, you are. I remember. <laughs> yes. yes, you are an architect. Oops, me salió por la vez eso. Pero no estaba muy seguro ya. Entonces, if I'm not very sure, I start negative. Okay. Awesome. Now, let's watch the video. Ready to keep on learning? Great. Pay attention to the use of tag questions for opinions. Health insurance, childcare bills, rent. Now that I'm going to school and only working part time, I have a hard time making ends meet. Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? Yeah. My company used to pay for it when I was working full time. And childcare isn't cheap, is it? No, it's not. After I pay for rent and groceries, Almost all my money goes to pay for my son's daycare. Colleges should provide free daycare for students with children. I think so too, but they don't have any services like that at my school. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What is Todd concerned about? Type your answers on our discussion box. Oh, listen to me. I'm always complaining, aren't I? Anyway, how are things with you? Oh, not bad, but I'm still not sure what I'm going to do after I graduate. Yeah, it's hard to find a job these days, isn't it? 
It's not that. I'm just not sure if going to law school was the right thing to do. What do you mean? I only have a few more months before I graduate, and now I'm wondering why I did this. I don't want to be a lawyer. It all seems like a waste of time now. So what are you going to do? Well, I'd like to move to Mexico and open a coffee shop, but I think my parents would flip. Did did you hear the tag questions? Let's see let's see the video. The Hi, welcome back. Let me ask you something. Learning English is easy, isn't it? I thought so. Tag questions for opinions. Affirmative statement plus negative tag. Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? There are lots of criminals in the city, aren't there? Graffiti makes every... Who can give me an example of a tag question with gas? Gasoline in this moment. The gasolina is um, expensive. It isn't. Uh, no, isn't it? it? Isn't, isn't it? Uh -huh. Very good, David. Gasoline is very expensive. Isn't it? Why isn't it? Isn't because you're. You said an affirmation. Like in the video, you said an affirmative statement. A gasoline is very ex uh, expensive, isn't it? Now, or you can say, hey, gasoline is not expensive, is it? Entonces, por eso le digo que en buen salvadoreño esto es baja. Hey, la gasolina está bien cara, va. Teacher. Yes. In, in, in the, that example that you, the, that you are using, we are using with, with baja. The American Jews, uh, da, is this very in, in formal way? It is like, like say, ba in El Salvador? No. D U H, da. Da. No, da, eh, como, no, 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 in, no. In the movie, it says, hey, da. It's different. Oh, no, no. They say dog. Hey, dog. Mm, but they say, they, I, I see they, da. Can yeah. you give me can you give me a sentence? I don't know. There is a um, I don't know. A song by Billy Eilish. It's, 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 uh, I, uh, I can't remember right now, but they finish it with da. Or though. I mean, and sometimes I think they I, 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 I hear that it's dog, but I don't know if it's a deformation. Do me a favor. Uh, maybe maybe today or tomorrow, if you, if you find that. Tomorrow, I will, I will. Okay. I will okay. Share. okay. Yes, okay. because I'm interested in that question. Thank you. Okay. What else is expensive? Cheese. Cheese is expensive, isn't it? No? Yes, maybe. Yes, because I was hearing the, the other day in the ra in radio that uh, mostly the, 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 the imported cheese, actually, from Nicaragua. Yes. And, and the quesillo for the pupusas. Oh, yeah. I tell my wife, hey, pedilas or frijol con queso, revueltas. Don't ask for cheese. <laughs> if you ask for cheese pupusas only, be careful. They're very expensive right now. Actually, there was this this um, representative from the um, superintendencia, the consumidor. Mm -hmm. They were saying that that some uh, the 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 pound of or, or the kilo of the the quesillo, the national quesillo is 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 is, is less expensive than the the the, 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 the Nicaragua the Nicaragua quesillo. But, but yeah, but you know what the problem is that if we go to the market, how do we know? Como yeah, sabemos, siempre nos van, a vender, nos van a vender el nacional como el. Yeah, so it's that, correct. That's the problem. Yeah. 
All right. So, but listen, so you understand the tag questions, right? Please practice this. This is, esto se usa bastante. Con que lo usamos en español, pero en español usamos va, vea. Está enojada, vea. Estás triste, vea. You are sad, aren't you? And it's very easy. You are. What is the negative of you are? Aren't you? Aren't, aren't you? You aren't. Yes. So in question is aren't you? You are sad, aren't you? Is he you aren't? Are you? You aren't sad, are you? Hey, imagine, okay. Give me an example. Look at me. <laughs> you are drunk. Are you? Are you drunk? What? Aren't you? You are what? drunk? Are you? Are you? <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Wait, a little more, maybe. Okay, good. Okay, but what was the question, David? You are drunk, aren't you? Exactly. Hey, you're drunk, aren't you? Aunque no me lo preguntara a mí, es lo porque alguien le puede preguntar a un bolo. Hey, está bolo. Le pregunta generalmente a alguien a la a la persona par. Hey, he's drunk, isn't he? Ella está bolo, verdad. All right, that, that's how you use uh, the simple past. Let's see. Let's do some exercises. Oh man, we have to, okay, we'll continue then the class tomorrow, okay, class? Okay, okay teacher. Okay, teacher. You will okay. be here tomorrow, won't you? Oh. Yes. For sure. Yes. For sure. Okay, good. Remember the question, Rafael. Yes, teacher. All right. Okay. okay. Tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Thank bye. you. Good night. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 bye.